Mama comes in and the 18 month old is just like a zombie now. You go to the hospital and they call in the police and take you to jail for hurting the baby because the CAT scan shows blood on the brain. Now, the diabolical bastards that do this, the doctor doesn't know. He's compartmentalized. They know it's even better because then they get even more federal funds with CPS grabbing a special needs brain damaged kid. Then they run up the money, drugging the kid out until they normally die by age 15. Uh, they kill all the foster kids with overdrugging. They'll get them on 20, 30, 40 drugs sometimes. Oh, I can show that to you right now, WOAI investigation. Uh, let me see. Vaccine dangers linked between diabetes. That's the NCCN. Now, let's go ahead and click on that. There's WebMD. Go ahead. Childhood vaccination, juvenile onset. And it's got all these medical doctors, PhD reports. You can read that for yourself right there, medical reports. Oh, let me think. I can just sit here and just keep throwing it at you. These, This isn't done by accident. This is scientific soft kill. Silent weapons for quiet wars done by design. Period. And so that's how they operate. That's how they do this. And so we'll uh, go over some more of that. But 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 let's continue right now with a few more of your phone calls here. Uh, let's talk to Shadow in Pennsylvania. Shadow, you're on the air. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Good, sir. Um, wondering what your take is on the seven, the Senate Bill 787. Uh, the federal government wants to change jurisdiction over all waters in the United States. Um, they're voting on it tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I'd like to urge your listeners to call their representatives to oppose this bill. But is I that mean, HR? Is that HR? Uh, it's uh, S period 787. Oh, it's a Senate bill, 787. I had seen all yeah. the legislation to fully grab all water, turn it over under U.N. treaties. It's kind of a de facto, instead of, instead of having the Congress ratify the law of the sea, all our ports, creeks, waterways, a puddle in your backyard, literally, where they can come literally. take your prop. Uh, uh, this, this standardizes it to then, uh, to then comply with law of the sea, global taxation grid. But I hadn't seen the Senate bill. That's another one of the things. But Senate bill, give me the number again. We'll pull it up. Uh, that's Senate bill 787. Senate bill 787. Do you have a subsection for me so I can pull that up? Uh, section 4. Yeah, clean water, section... clean water Restoration Act, U.S. Open Congress. Thank you. Uh, please continue with the subsection. Um. Section 25, the term waters of the United States means all waters subject to the ebb and flow of the tide, territorial seas, interstate, interstate waters, and their tributaries. All right, let me Lake stop you rivers. and tell the guys. Guys, you want to click on read and comment on full text of bill. Click on that for me, boys. Okay, sir, give me that subsection again. What section? Uh, 25. All right, guys, do a control left to section 25. There it is. Yep. 25, confirming... What you said. Yep. And see, I can't even keep track of this. They got federal bills to kidnap any kids they want federally with no records. We can't even cover it time-wise. They got bills to seize all the water, total federal control. There it is. I was aware of it. Hadn't even covered it on air. It's just incredible. Good job. Somebody needs to write an article and send it to writers at Infowars.com. You know, I've got Kurt and Paul about to work and Steve about to work on, because they only do articles, did you hear me last hour how the Federal Reserve is going to take over every industry, every business? Just total yeah. godlike powers under executive orders? Caller? I guess we lost him. Uh, sir, are you getting something or are you still there? Yeah, he, he, yeah, he's going to listen to himself on air. Let him go. Thank you so much, caller. Excellent point. And again, it's you, the listeners, sitting on hold who bring me this information. And there it is. Right there for you. And, I, and I'd read about different bills to do this, and uh, I'd seen the House version. That must be the Senate version of it. So there you go. I mean, just total criminal takeover at every level of society. My God. And it's not just the government. The public's turning into degenerate criminals as well, I've been noticing on average. It's just total everything unraveling, falling apart right in front of us. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and take another call here. The shadow certainly knew, didn't he? John in Texas. John, you're on the air, sir. Hey, good to talk to you, Alex. Good to talk to you. Um, I really enjoyed uh, yeah, David Icke on the other day talking about the reptilian brain and the higher consciousness and stuff. 
Well, when um, people people it, confuse that. I wasn't talking about reptoids from Alpha Centauri's. I was talking about medical fact. In fact, pull up brain physiology. Uh, Google uh, brain anatomy, and you know I'm not even googling reptilian brain. Brain anatomy, and we'll put up on screen a map from a medical website of a brain. You've got the lower brain stem that's heart rate, uh, you know, th the lungs, th things like that. And then you've got above that the reptilian brain that's sex, desire, money, survival. And then, and then you've got the other higher faculties of the brain. So it's a bunch of different computer systems. And we'll pull that up. we got really slow Internet in here. They don't have it faster here in this part of town we live in. Sorry, caller, go ahead. Uh, that's right. I'm watching you on uh, prisonplan.tv, so I can see that as well. Um, but I was going to say, you were in Waking Life, and I wonder if you had either, uh, either experienced it yourself or looked into lucid dreaming at all as a kind of uh, inner exploration and kind of merging your uh, conscious and subconscious. Yeah, what's the term? It's, it's not like astronaut, but people that dream and call themselves dream travelers. It has a, has a name like dream traveler. What is that? Yeah, term? I can't remember. It's something not, but yeah, I can't... Uh, Stay there. We'll talk more about it on the other side, and I'll get into the big enchilada, what the bankers are doing right now, and a lot more. And we got in studio coming up, Life in the Bubble, Blowing the American Dream. Stay with us. You don't want to miss this interview coming up in studio. Ah, it gets distracting when you got film crews in your studio, but it's always fun. Okay. I mean, here's this regular physiology, and this is called the reptilian complex of the brain. That's what they teach in medical school. Uh, it's called the reptilian brain. And you got the limbic system and the neocortex. And then down here you got the brain stem and what, what it hooks into. And this is the area over the heart beating. Well, I guess people can't see me on TV pointing it out. Pull me up on screen and I'll show folks. See right here you got the reptilian brain, limbic system, neocortex. And then uh, down here you've got what the brain stem hooks into, the lower brain. And this is your heart rate and breathing and your blood pressure and all that type of stuff is regulated here. And this is the primitive area of the brain, uh, which is identical in its physiology to a crocodile brain or an alligator brain. And that was my point. People thought I was endorsing what David says about other issues, which I'm not poo-pooing what he says. I just don't have any proof of it and don't cover it. Uh, and people got confused when I was saying that. But to go ahead and finish up what you were uh, saying, caller. I was just seeing if that's, uh, after you were in Waking Life, if you ever looked into lucid dreaming or had ever experienced it yourself. Uh, it seems to me like it might be uh, kind of like a further step in our evolution of thought. As uh, Well, let's as, just put it this way. I keep my visions to myself. How, how's that uh, Fleetwood Mac song goes? Oh, here they come again, the crystal vision. I keep my vision to myself. I mean, yeah, I've, I've obviously had a lot of wild dreams. Uh, uh, most people have. When I was a kid, I slept walk some, and that's just between the waking and the sleeping uh, area. And I've had a lot of dreams that have come true. And you always know it's a dream that's very intense, very upsetting. It's like you've been somewhere else. And it could be something like a house being built on a hill, and you image the house, and you have dream after dream where you're in the house. And this is a, this is a dream I had when I was like nine. And then years later, I'd always remember the dream. I see him building that very house on the hill, and it didn't click. I was like, why is that house so interesting to me? And then later that night, I was in there with a girlfriend in the neighborhood, and I'm looking out the windows that hadn't been finished yet out onto the you know, hills and woods and have the realization, wow, I've had this dream so many times, and then remembered the full dream. And it wasn't deja vu. It was because I'd remembered it. It was like I had a dream one time that a guy in a green and purple shirt um, came out from behind a building, a cinder block building, and attacked me. And I even told people about it because it was an upsetting dream. And then sure enough, that, about a year later, I'm 16. We had to drive into Dallas to buy beer because the big beer stores there would sell to underage people. And I pull up, get out of the car. My buddies are parked around the back of the gas station. I'm walking with a case of beer. And from behind... It's like I went back into the dream as I was walking, see the center block, and I go, I've had, I've seen this before. Here comes the guy in the green and purple polo shirt and tries to mug me. And then I well, dealt with it, <laughs> enjoyably, of course. But the issue is, the issue is 
that uh, I have had dreams that have come true. But I don't really get into it on air and make a big issue out of it because, you know, it kind of gets off into the hinterland. I have bills. I have legislation for martial law. I, I know this is going on. I know this is happening. And so I have the black and white, so I cover what I can prove. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, sure. Good to hear from you, my friend. Yes, I am in the film Waking Life, because Rick Linklater lives in town and is a fan of the show, and I'm in Scanner Darkly. And I consulted on that film. People are always emailing me going, it has secret Masonic symbolism. It's not secret when they're wearing all-seeing eyes on their shirts. The whole point is they were wanting to expose the New World Order.